Hello, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2024 China Press. I'm Balenga host. My name is May. So, welcome to the booth of Sun Chemical. And now, let's invite the global business director, Mr. Mark Dobum. Come here. Okay, hello, Mark. Hello. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. To say hello to our distinguished guests. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, so the first question, could you give a brief introduction about our company? Yeah, of course, of course. So we are Sun Chemical, we are a US-based company from New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania. Mm. And typically we are a member of DIC group, you know, from Tokyo, Japan. Uh, um, our company is a leading, you know, a producer of, you know, many different applications like packaging and graphics. Mm. Uh, we are also a leader in uh, color materials, okay. right? color and display materials as well as functional materials uh, for automotive, health care, mm. and uh, electrical applications. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have many R&D centers which are developing new products and focusing, of course, on sustainability of the industry. Yeah. Okay. Um, where we talk here about more specifically is the pigments and color business we have. Mm. Uh, you can see here behind that typically we are the, the unification of many different legacies, you know, from the last decades of yeah. pigment industry with Siba from Switzerland, Angular from US, BSF from Germany, mm. and we are unifying everything here under the same chemical brand uh, for our business. Okay. We have more than 15 uh, pigment sites around mm. the world. We make uh, organic pigments, classical pigments, high performance pigments, dyes, effect pigments from many different sources, mica or aluminum yeah. base, and pigment preparations going into specific uh, application areas like coatings, inks, or plastics. Mm. Yeah. And also, I know that in the 2004 China Prowse, your company has bring a new technology come here, right? Yes, yes. We are recognized by our customers and we are proud of it to be the sustainable and innovation leader yeah. in the pigment industry. Yeah? So and we are here also very much mm -hmm. focusing on what makes the industry different, how we can help customers to go the extra mile, as we said, you know, going beyond their current capabilities okay. and also go for more sustainable uh, developments and application in the industry. Yeah, yeah. so in our right, on the right hand, is that the product area? Could you show us about the product? Yeah, I think we, we focus on three main areas, you know, for the for the show. Mm. Uh, we, we have, you know, of course, here the um, the, the requirements for highest, you know, performance requirements in the industry. Okay. Being either you know durability, being mm. you know high and fast processing uh, in the polymers, mm. being a low warping application in the GPE, uh, we have also yeah. another aspect of you know color consciousness. That means food contact material applications, product safety and sustainability. Mm. And the last uh, item we have is functional products for light management and very you know uh, special applications like laser welding and. Yeah. Uh, heat build-up management. Yeah. Okay, so as we know that as a global development, the carbon neutralization and sustainable is, is a very is a very issue, hot issue, hot yes. problem. So how your company to address the problem? Yeah, I think we, we, we see we see different steps here about you know sustainability because it's it's a big big item. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, first, it's about you know consumer safety and product safety purity, mm -hmm. and here we've been already doing you know this. Uh, uh, since from the last uh, you know uh, 30 years typically where we provide you know very deep and uh, well uh, backed up you know food contact certificates yeah. to protect the consumers to be food contact you know uh, compliant and and help the customers in that respect okay so could you give so more uh, so that, that, that's the first element oh, okay, yeah, okay. Is, <laughs> the second element is how do we support the industry to be more circular especially oh. for plastics yes how do we help our industry to develop solution that be, can be sorted and recyclable for the waste, etc. So we are exhibiting here a product which is called Cicopal Black oh. 098, uh, which is typically a product that enables, you know, the recycling units and, and sorting machines to better identify the waste mm. and then, you know, enable and make faster and more efficient the recycling process. Yes. Yeah? And the last t topic is more about the dysfunctional pigments, which are uh, helping us to be more, uh, more efficient in terms of energy consumption, uh, we also have good developments in the mm. in the fiber industry. We are helping our customers to, you know, you, you know the, the fast fashion industry yeah. with a lot of colors and and people are, are, are usually coloring the via a bus process the fibers. Mm. And we are the unique company to have you know uh, Ecotex and ZDHE zero dissemination of hazardous chemicals, yeah. which is a big brand uh, you know consumer goods drive. And we are the only company providing ZDHE level three okay. to our customers. That means they can now go much better and much more uh, in a tangible way mm. into spin dyed fibers. That means mm. mass colored fibers. So it saves a lot of water and energy and yeah. less 
less consumption of chemicals for that process. So these are different aspects of how we can support mm. sustainability. Okay, yeah. I get you. Yeah. So uh, could you give more about the detail? What's our product? Will be the air about application? Yeah, yeah. We, I can give you some yeah. some highlights if you want. So uh, maybe on on the on the specifics of the. Uh, high durability, high requirements, you know, more mm. stringent requirements. Mm. Electrical vehicles is a big topic in China, we know. <laughs> yeah. And here we are developing uh, good solutions mm. for anything which is recognition of the of the, the, the high tension yes. and uh, orange colors, red colors, you know, which are safe color, in fact. Mm. And here we have a uh, like Sikopal orange K2430, which is a, an inorganic, very bright uh, oh, pigment yeah. that enables to make, you know, in high heat plastics, mm. a very good orange, which is stable along the lifetime of the car. Okay. Yeah? So that's, that's one aspect on the high demanding and yeah. most stringent processes. Mm, yeah? mm. Another example we have is about functionality here where you know we are developing, uh, uh, I hope you can see it in the camera, but uh, this is a product which is a black. Black, yeah. But you know, carbon black usually is going to absorb every infrared. Yeah. When you wear something black, usually it's very hot afterwards. Yes. If you have a, a black seat in the car, <laughs> under the sun, it's very hot. Yeah, yeah, it's very hot. This pigment does not heat up. That's, oh. That means it's black, but it does not absorb the infrared, oh, yeah. and it's going to let the, um, the the color be very bright and jet, but mm. at the same time not exhibiting any heat buildup. Okay. So that that's typically here uh, an improvement we propose to the industry that people benefit from better control of heat buildup as well as higher jetness, higher black oh. color. So okay. it's, it's also I very see good. You. Yeah. So. Thank you very much for more your wonderful share and your detailed share. And all our online friends who are watching our live stream, you can come to our booth, our Sun Chemicals to get more information. Okay, thank you, Mark. Yeah, we welcome you guys. Huh? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.